Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test on Nokia 8 a smartphone. It comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, 4GB of RAM, Android 7.1.1 OS and 5.3 inch WQHD screen. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute in these benchmarking tests. The benchmarking applications we got today here, they are and to do benchmarking, Basemark X, Basemark OS 2, Geekbench 4, and Quadrant Standard. We have already performed all of these tests to save you time, and we will have a look directly on the benchmarking test scores, and we will also compare the scores with rest of the smartphones. So, here we go. So, first of all, let's have a look on Quadrant Standard. Here is the benchmarking test score, it's 39,197 and it's not one of the best benchmarking test score for Quadrant Standard because we have seen other flagship smartphones getting around 43, 42,000 as well. But still it's pretty good score, 39,197 and here you can have a look on few old phones like HTC One X, Asus Transformer Prime. And you can compare the results you can see that all of these old devices they scored less than 5000 and our Nokia scored 39197 so it's really a very good score still even though it's a bit low with respect to other flagship smartphones with similar hardware specs so this is all about the quadrant standard let's go back from here and let's have a look on Android benchmarking it's one of the most popular benchmarking application and here we go so the test result score is 177,079 and if you go to the ranking tab here you can compare the result with the rest of the smartphones so you can see that OnePlus 5 is at first position with 181,000 HTC U11 is at second position with 180,000 and our Nokia 8 is at third position with 177,000 so it, still it's a very good score because it's coming among the top three best performing devices on entry benchmarking and you can see that Galaxy A7 Plus and Galaxy A7 Xiaomi Mi 6 are below Nokia 8 even though all of these devices they come with the same hardware specs Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor Android 7.1 OS and all so the performance of Nokia 8 on entry benchmarking is pretty good and now let's go to Basemark OS 2 here we go with the result it's 3495 and this one is a really very good score it's one of the best ever as you can see the best score is coming from graphics and then system and after that memory and overall the score is 3495 and this is a really good score if you watch our previous benchmarking videos of other flagship smartphones with similar hardware specs you will find that most of the devices they are scoring around 3000 only but our Nokia had scored around 3500 so this benchmarking score of quadrant standard for Nokia 8 is really nice and impressive let's go back from here and let's go to Basemark X it is a gaming benchmarking test so basically it gives the idea about the performance of GPU and the score is 43,587 and once again it's one of the best ever score on Basemark X. If you watch our previous videos you will find that most of the smartphones they are getting around 42 to 44,000. So 43,587 once again it's placing Nokia 8 into one of the best performing device on Basemark X. So the gaming performance of Nokia 8 it's supposed to be very nice we will do a detailed gaming review very soon where we will see that how good Nokia 8 is going to perform in real life scenario while playing few of the most high-end games not only on benchmarking test and scores so this is all about the Basemark X let's go back from here and the next one and the last one we got today here is Geekbench 4 this test is divided in two parts CPU and compute so let's have a look on the results here is the result for CPU for single core and multi core 
for single core it's 1925 and for multi core it is 6614 if you go to these individual tabs for single core and multi core you can compare the result with rest of the smartphones so you can see that galaxy s7 scored 1806 there is no information about the galaxy s8 plus or latest devices but but if you have used galaxy s7 uh, note 7 or oneplus 3 or xiaomi mi 5 so you can get the idea about the performance of nokia 8 by having a look on the single core test score and if you go to the multi core once again you can compare the result you can see that samsung galaxy note 7 scored 5228 and that device was launched last year and our device nokia 8 scored 6614 so this is also a very nice benchmarking score and once again you can compare this result with the rest of the latest flagship smartphones by watching our previous benchmarking videos of latest flagship devices like galaxy s8 plus htc u11 huawei p10 plus and all so this is all about the cpu test and if we go to the compute the score is 7663 and this is also a very nice score if you go here you can compare the result with few old smartphones like htc nexus 9 nexus 6 galaxy s7 and all and you can see that our device is performing pretty good with respect to all of these smartphones considering the benchmarking test scores of nokia 8 it looks like this device is really very powerful and capable of performing high-end tasks but we will also do a detailed gaming review multitasking review to see that how good nokia 8 will perform in real life scenario but in benchmarking test and scores the performance of the device is really impressive so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe the channel share the video with your friends for more videos tips and tricks enhance reviews like this and i'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day